Good morning, students. Equations, uh, my equations from your report file. Yesterday we started program number eight. Two tables, employee and department. Okay. Now, uh, first query is to display the average salary of all employees department wise. Here is question number one or question number eight. So you want to display average salary of all employees department wise. So your uh, salary is given in employee table. So here select department ID from an average. Salary from payment name is employee. Then you will use your group by then group by department ID. So you will get uh, different uh, uh, department and their average salary. So here is here first department ID. I'm going to display the output. And this average. <coughs> so department ID is B001. Average salary here, department one uh, in first record and in the last row. So, average salary is uh, 75,000 plus 65, which is 70,000. Then, next record here is uh, D02 because D02 is a single one. Here, D, D002, there is a, a single record, so that's why. Every will remain as it is, that is 59,000. Then B003, single record, that's why 40,000 here, every salary. Then B004, so here is a no any value given, so here is a null value. No any value means null value. Okay. Then next question to display name and respective department name of each employee who salary is more than 50,000. So, name of uh, name of the employee is given in the first table and department name is given in second table. So we are fetching the data from two tables. So we will have to use join. So how do we join this? Join is a B. Select. Me. Okay, and the department name. These are from different tables. So now write down from first table is employee, second table is department, then use one condition where uh, in both tables department I is common. Okay. So you will use here employee dot department ID equal to department dot department ID and second is 
this salary must be more than fifty thousand. Okay, and salary greater than fifty thousand. So this is the uh, query of second question. Now output will be here will be the name, and here will be the department name. So come to the first table. Here is Alicia. Second is Nitin. Then Navjot. Then Jimmy. And then Face. Now department. Here is B zero one. It is a pers personal. Okay. Department is personal. Then within B zero zero two, it is admin. But remember, check the salary also. Here is fifty nine thousand. So it must be greater than. Fifty thousand. Now, Jod, check the salary. Forty thousand. So we can't include now, Jod. Then Jimmy. Salary is not given. Okay. Then, face. The uh, department is B zero one in personal department. Next question, C. Question number C. To display the name of employee whose salary is not shown in is not known in alphabetical order. So, बेटा यहाँ पे एक ही employee है जिसकी salary हमें पता नहीं. Okay? तो हमें query बनानी है. To select. So they are saying to display. The names, only names. Okay, so this uh, select name from employee. But there is one condition here, where salary is none. Okay, so just me, I'm a salary. Mention any query. It will display that record, the value of that uh, record. Okay, and uh, in a alphabetically order. It means they are saying in a sorted form. So you will have to use order by order by name. So here is a only one employee. That's why there is no any need of any type of uh, your uh, Sorting. So here is a name. A name is here. Find out the name from your table. Jimmy. Okay. Name of person implies Jimmy. Then question number D. Display department ID from the table implies without repetition. Okay. तो हमने एक पहले भी हमने एक कमांड की थी कि देर इज वन की वर्ड दैट विल नॉट रिपीट दुप्लीकेट वैल्यू इट विल नॉट शो द डुप्लीकेट वैल्यू ठीक है की वर्ड इज यूज टू रिमूव द डुप्लीकेशन है ठीक है तो हमने क्या करना है यहाँ पे डिस्प्ले करने हैं डिपार्टमेंट आई टी विदाउट रेपिटेशन ओके तो सिलेक्ट तो यूज इसकी वर्ड डिपार्टमेंट आईडी फ्रॉम इंप्लॉय नाउ आंसर विल बी
So these are the two things which we, uh, this is the thing which we want to display here. B001 B002 B003 and B001 is depicted here. So we will not include that. Next is Marimia clear with her? Yes, sir. Okay, next question. So question number eight is complete here. Now question number nine. So there in the question number nine, uh, there are some queries. Okay, you will have to, uh, you will have to give the answer of that queries. Uh, there is only one table. Select count star, count star will calculate the number of records. City from student, group by city, having greater than one. So here, we have to count the city. Okay, city we have Agra, Mumbai, Delhi, and Moscow. Okay, so we have to count the counting. And if we have to divide it city wise, okay, but if counting is more than one, then you will have to display. Okay, so output is output of question number nine. First question is here. So output is count star in the city. So here count star will count the number. Suppose first is Agra, it is single. So it will not display because our condition is the repetition, uh, the counting must be more than one. Mumbai, two times. So here is two, and here you will type the city name Mumbai. Second, here is uh, Delhi again, two times. Third is Dubai single time. That's why it will be uh, ignored. Then Moscow two times. So this is the answer of question number one. Answer of question number one. And question number two. Select maximum date of DOB and minimum DOB from student. There is max DOB min DOB then here the minimum date uh, DOB so minimum 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 is the oldest one here 1993 okay 0 7 0 5 1993 and uh, sorry is a maximum minimum so this is minimum okay maximum the latest one so latest one is a uh, here is 1995 okay it's fine so december wale jo bhi aapke paas hai December wale yaan pe nahi hai. Then November, November nahi hai. October here. Okay. Waan me yeh likh nahi hai. Thikhe maximum date is 08 10 1995 So minimum and maximum date of birth. Third question. Output of third question. Select mean gender from student where city is equal to Delhi. So, you have a city Delhi here, which may up name uh, or gender display. So, name here and gender. So, here in Delhi, it is Colonel. 
ठीक है एंड जेंडर इज फीमेल एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज स्टोर इज मेल दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बेटा नाउ सम क्वेरीज वी विल हैव टू फ्रेम क्वेरीज टू डिस्प्ले द रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम टेबल स्टूडेंट इन एल्फाबेटिकल ऑर्डर एज पर द नेम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट to display the record from the table student in alphabetical order as per the name of the student to order by humne kahan pe karna hai according to the name of the student here is in a output program here output sorry for queries theek hai to queries hame print karni hai question number 1 is here Here is question number one. Select all columns means star from table name is student. Okay, table name is here student. Order by according to their name in alphabetical order. They are not saying in ascending or descending. So according to their name, so by default it is ascending. So we are assuming it will be in a ascending order. So output will be name first in alphabetical order. Okay. So first of all, you have to pass Aiga name. Ma yes, here I am typing in alphabetical order. एम के बाद एन So these are the output. So we display the name in a ascending order. Next is, but you will have to uh, here write the complete detail, like here, roll number. So here, roll number. So you you will. Write down the exact row number here. Six here. Then name. Okay. Complete record because they are saying uh, display the records. Then B O B. Then you will display it. Uh, 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 write B O B, and then gender. Then B O B. Uh, then city. And marks. Okay, complete table. So I am not completing this. I am going to the next. query 
display the name DOB and city whose marks is between 450 to 451. So here, select name from so here DOB. Then city from student where marks between four fifty and five fifty one. Five fifty. Uh, sorry, four fifty. 551. So this is the query. Okay, to mark between this one. Next query. To display the name, class, and total number of students who have skewed more than 450 marks class-wise. So when I know you class-wise career, it means they are saying about virtual division of your table that is with their purpose, group by command. You can display name, class, and total number of students who have secured more than 40 marks class-wise. Uh, not a uh, grouping, but uh, their order by. You can order by class by. To display name, we have to display karna hai, class, we display karna hai, total number of students. Karna hai display. So, total number of students because this uh, query will generate error. Okay, because in one side, number of students will be for this number of students, we will have to use the count method. And count will return single value and name will re return number of val uh, values. So that's why it will, this query will not app is not appropriate. So I have a query ko theek kar So here I display kar raho, select class. Then count class and total number of students. So for total number of students, so here uh, we will have to use the count method. So count star from student where. Where marks greater than 450 group by, but for a uh, using a, uh, if you are using group by command, you will have to use having clause. So group by class and Having marks greater than 450. So output. First, it will display class, then count star. So Jinke marks 450 se above. Hai. So here is uh, class 10th name. Okay. Here two yeah. class 10th here. So it's me class 10 3. So last one sec last one is for uh, 377. So it will not be calculated. So class 10 2 time and the marks is 485 and 551. So it here class 10 answer is 2. Two students having more than 450 marks. Then class plus 2. So in plus two class, 462 is okay, but more than 450. So it, it will not be calculated. Then 359 not calculated. So only one. 
next is plus one here in plus one there are two records in first record marks is 450 in second record 250 so yahan pe koi recounting nahi aayegi iski it will be display, display zero so all the classes are calculated now next question is to increase marks of all students by 20 whose class is plus two so here for change in the value query is update student set marks equal to marks plus 20 where class equal to plus 2 so after that uh, uh, record will be updated there will be no any output because when, whenever you are changing the value you are increasing the value there is no any message for example uh, in the case of a roll number if i am going to change the name update one set name equal to amit where roll number equal to one so answer will be the blue match blue change ticket is the case happening after you can so answer will be a big answer i got the rules match there are three records of plus two okay change three warnings zero this will be the output okay this will be the output later next question now the next question this is the last question of uh, my SQL programs of your report file two tables vital and uh, travel are given here so yeah pay there are uh, uh, there are some forms of uh, per kilometer here is a uh right charges per kilometer uh, here is a uh, you will have to answer the following questions to display C number. So here I am typing the queries. Question number one. Display C number. So for this, select C number, then C name, then travel. From the table travel in the order of C number. Pelte better check the neck. You have a sari fields. Each table may say so. Here, C number, C name, and travel date all of these are from same table. Okay, so that's why you will not you will uh, use only single table from. Table name is here travel. Then order by C number because there is a sorting. The question is to display C number, C name, travel date from table travel in descending order of C number. Next question to display C name of all customer from the table travel who are traveling by white yes manvir yes unmute yourself sir first question me descending order me lena to desc bhi to likhenge piche at the end 
डाइट हेयर डी ई एस सी ओके फॉर डिसेंडिंग गुड बेटा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू डिस्प्ले दी नेम of all the employees or all the customers who stable travel who are traveling by vehicle with code v01 v0 v01 v02 to beta jahan pe bhi code v01 hai ya v02 hai wahan pe apni name display karane customer ke theek hai to to very here answer kya hoga beta iska to aapne iska c number it will display c number In previous question, C name, travel, date, okay? So यहाँ पे आपने descending order में display करना है और भी basis of C number. So C number हमारे पास है. So uh, first it will be display five zero one zero seven, then one zero six. Descending order है बेटा ये. Then वन जीरो फाइव देन वन जीरो फोर देन वन जीरो थ्री एंड वन जीरो वन एंड यू विच राइट दी कोरोस्पॉन्डिंग दी सी नेम एंड ट्रेवल डे ठीक है तो ये आपने लिखना है ठीक है मैं कंप्लीट नहीं कर रहा इसको नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मैं यहाँ पे कंप्लीट कर रहा हूँ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू है डिस्प्ले सी नेम तो सिलेक्ट E name from travel. Okay, travel name is travel. Uh, where V code V code equal to in single quotes V zero one. और वी कोड इक्वल टू वी जीरो टू ठीक है तो आप ये लिख सकते हो और मेरे ने वन अल्टरनेटिव यू कैन यूज वी कोड इन So it will show the record of uh, the C name of V zero one. V zero one C name is okay. And then uh, here V zero two. V zero two here. Uh, here is number of records are there. That's why. Right. Then V zero two again, Ravi. And then again at the last there is Ramesh. This is the. Ah, uh, there are only ah uh, three four queries are there. Okay, students.